Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel Okay, welcome back to the channel, everybody, or welcome if you've never been here. This is, I'm Steve Calloway, as you can see underneath my picture. And these, this song and Angelina's performance of the song are going to be inducted into the Diamond Classic Hall of Fame. And here's the problem. These are both so good, they're a little different. And they're especially good for two separate and distinct reasons, in my opinion. And it's the ending, of course, that is where the catch is, the ending of the song. So, I have to pick one. I'm not going to let it be a tie. I could. <laughs> After all, it's my channel and I'm picking, right? But I don't, it's too early in this Hall of Fame selection process to have ties. If I start doing ties, I'll have a tie every time. Because as far as I'm concerned, all of Angelina's songs deserve to be in the Hall of Fame. But I'm looking for things that are... For those that haven't been here yet, this is the this is going to be the fourth song and performance inducted into the Hall of Fame, and I've been doing them one I think every day I think for the last four days. And what I'm looking for is standalone, outstanding performances, jaw dropping, mind blowing, whatever you want to call it, things that you really just can't find words to explain to somebody, you know. Uh, to try to impart what you witnessed when you listened to it or what you felt when you listened to it to somebody else. It's, hard, it's almost impossible, I think. Uh, because what I have found over the eight years that I've been an uh, Angelina Jordan uh, fan, a biased fan, by the way, uh, is that I can't find the words that are good enough. <laughs> There's words that get close, but they all fall just a little bit short. They need to be bigger, better, and more to, to explain Angelina. Or maybe more maybe more precise or something. I don't know. It's just doesn't, it just seems like when I pick a word, it's like, yeah, that's pretty good, but you know, I'm not quite there, right? So, um, we'll skip all that about that. <laughs> Sorry, I get sidetracked from time to time. Those of you who've been here for a while know that. Uh, but these two performances are so outstandingly good. It's really hard. But let's watch. You'll see, you'll see what I'm talking about. I got to pick one. It's my job. Okay. I came up with this idea, so I put it. I put it on myself. And uh, let's watch the first one here. By the way, I believe that according to the there was a little bit more information in the title. I think Angelina's 10 in both of these videos. So, you know, that that's what makes it hard, too. Her 10-year-old age songs are extraordinary. I think all of them. Okay, just because she must have just been, at 10 years old, she was just ready, you know, I guess, to, to be a performer. So let's go ahead and watch the first one first. Birds flying high You know how I feel Sun in the sky You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel it's a new dawn, it's a new day, it's a new life for me, and I'm 
Dokie then. So we watched that. I'll stop it right there. A um, couple things stand out to me about that video. And there's also something that stands out that's in both videos that I just noticed while watching this. There's a part early on where Angelina stands there and it shows her from the side view. And there's like, it looks like there's a, one of the lights is shining like right in front of her. And that happens in this other video too. That light that's behind her there is right, you know, right in the camera shot. Uh, often, it's almost like the light wants to be around Angelina. <laughs> I didn't know light had likes and dislikes, but uh, it almost seems like light is drawn to her, you know, especially spotlights, right? So, yeah, it, it, I just noticed that. Uh, that's the first time I've noticed that about the, those two videos. Uh, this one. Uh, on the right, when we get to it, that spotlight's there a lot. You know, it's pretty obvious. Plus, there's a dark background uh, where she's performing. Now, this is outside the other one, so, you know, maybe it's not quite as obvious. But, uh, yeah, that's the first time I noticed that. And the other thing is, there's a whole bunch of things about this video that I really think are, are worthy. Of. I, I didn't finish my description of why, what's the Hall of Fame all about, right? A video that's a standalone performance that will never be duplicated, never be replicated. This is actually an example of that, these two songs, because while it's the same song, they're the same age, they're performing in front of a live audience, uh, all that is a factor, I think, in it. Um, but a Hall of Fame song does not have to be any of those things. It can be a studio performance, a parking garage one, you know, it doesn't matter. As long as it fits the criteria, it has to be something that, as fans, that we know that that performance, that song, that place, that time, that's a one-time occurrence. It'll never happen again. The day after that that performance was over, Angelina was another day older. It's, she's already a little different. 
Okay, she's already grown, grown a little bit more. So if she sings the song again, she might sing it just a little bit different. Because Angelina does that. She sings the same song a lot, but she changes it all the time, a little bit. And uh, so, so you'll never get the, a rep, a, probably a replication of it uh, in any way that I can think of. Now that ending of that song, that whole thing on one breath with that much power and force, I, I don't even know how that's possible. I tried to do that one day here. You guys know I can't sing, right? I've, you've probably... Remember when I was doing those uh, audition things? Uh, yeah. I mean, once in a while, there'll be a couple notes that sound okay together. But most of the song doesn't sound very good when I'm singing it, okay? So, I tried to do that. And I'm not a trained singer, of course. But, yeah. Man, that is... That's tough. That's tough. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't do it. I couldn't even get close, especially with the power. You know, if I tried to hold my breath back a little bit, I could get, you know, and, and not as good as she did it, but I mean, I could get, I could extend my voice a little bit, you know, longer, but I couldn't get all like what she did. No way. So anyway, that's, that's what I do with my spare time. <laughs> I try to copy what Angelina does, right? So that ending of that is just spectacular. The length, the how long she carried that, that belt, unbelievable. Another thing I like about that video is because it's outside, because it's like a, they call it a sing-along. Uh, it's not in the title there, but it's in some of the other uh, wording in the title. Uh, sing-along at the border, I think they call it. And, or maybe that's what that means that right there. All saying, yes, maybe that means sing-along, right? It, I, Grinson must be border, huh? I don't know. So, the people, they show the crowd off and on throughout the video, smiling, happy, clapping. Some are, you can see on their face that they're just amazed. Uh, and Angelina seems to have like a lot of performers do, but she, she does it in her own special way. She seems to have a connection with the audience, too. You know, I think a lot of performers feed off the audience. If you're getting a good response, it pumps you up. If, you're not, if, if the audience is flat, it's like, oh, boy, what do we do now? <laughs> i gotta, I got to change the trajectory of this thing, right? But Angelina doesn't have to worry about that because she's always, uh, the audience is always very positively responsive. So that's what I like about that video. So let's move on to the next one before I talk too much, which I already have. Uh, you've all seen this one, I'm sure. You've all seen them, probably both of them, I'm sure. Birds flying high. You know how I feel. You know how I feel Breeze drifting on by You know how I feel It's a new dawn It's a new day It's a new life Bye. 
Well, that's my granddaughter. <laughs> Not really. Uh, in my dreams, okay? That I would have a granddaughter that was that talented if I would have a granddaughter, period. I don't have any granddaughter. So anyway, I quit whining about that. So that, what do I like about that song? That performance? Lots of things. Angelina, whatever she performs, it seems like she's always focused on what she's doing. Remember she says she goes to a different place when she uh, sings? And, and I, I think that's true. She does do that. You can see it on the move, the one on the right. You can see it more in that one for whatever reason than you can in this one over here. This one looks like she's just having a blast out there singing with all these people, right? And the spotlight thing. <laughs> It's almost, if they rolled credits at the end of this one, the spotlight would have to get some credits for whatever, okay? Um, it, in some ways, it's a little distracting. It's maybe too bad that the camera wasn't at a different angle or something, so it wouldn't catch that spotlight, but whatever. It did not, it did not hurt in any way Angelina's performance or uh, the, the quality of her voice and all the other things that we come to love and know about Angelina. So it, it wasn't that big a deal, but it's just, a, and that's not, Influencing my decision in any way. So, let's get to the end, okay? We saw in this one on the right, we did see a couple of moments. There was a moment where the camera was panning around her, and she kind of gave a little, <laughs> she was kind of, I don't know what she would call that. She looked at the camera, she was a little, like, I don't know, flirty almost, I think. I don't know what, she, just mugging it up for the camera. And... You know, Angelina is always acutely aware of everything that's going on around her. She has the amazing ability to not just focus on tunnel vision. She knows everything that's going on. Uh, that's part of her special uh, talents and gifts, I think. And the ending. So the ending, she did not sustain as long in this one as the other one. But she did put kind of almost like a little jump there uh, of, I don't know, soul, passion. Uh, I, I don't know what you would call that uh, emotion she must have been going through to do that. She really wanted to belt that out and really put some emphasis on it. And she did that little, almost like a jump kind of a thing. And uh, that, you know, that that's what makes... That's one of the things that makes this one unique. So both of these, you can make a case for both of these to be in the Hall of Fame. But I don't feel it's fair to call it a tie because like I said earlier, then I'll be calling them a tie all the time and just, you know, playing all their videos. <laughs> Which I'm going to do anyway. I mean, eventually I'm going to, they'll probably all be in there before we're done somehow. I, what I did yesterday was I put on the uh, I put on three performances of uh, the song we did yesterday. I can't remember the name of the song already. <laughs> Isn't that terrible? Um, how do I not know that? Hey, I'll tell you what. Getting old is just getting old stuff is not um, uh, for the for the weak and, and faint of heart. <laughs> Every day is a new adventure. Yeah, it always starts with trying to find the stuff you set down the day before somewhere and you can't find it. So, so I'm going to have to pick a winner of being the inductee into the Hall of Fame. And the other one's going to have to just wait for placement somehow, some way which will probably be something like honorable mention performances or something like that. I'm, I'm trying to come up with something. I, I'd like to include most of her songs, every version of it, if I could, somehow in here uh, for you guys to watch. On this one, there's a whole bunch of versions, a whole bunch of different things you can watch. And I'd like you to see them all because I'd like you to watch them and look at them and say, hey, you know what? Steve did a pretty good job picking that, that one because the, uh, that one probably is, uh, you know, right up there at the top. Uh, the other one was pretty close, you know, and uh, they, you could, if he picked that one, it would have been just as good, you know. You could say stuff like that, but, you know, or some of you might be saying, you should have picked the other one, you know. <laughs> uh, what, whatever the case may be. Um, 
I got to pick one, and I just, I, I can't. I'm just, for whatever reason, I'm going with the one where Angelina, the reason I think I'm going to go with this one over here, she's outdoors, lots of people, everybody's happy, everybody's smiling. Angelina's making them happy, and she also is happy, and she's happy that she's making them happy. Now, in the other one here, this is more of a regular, like a professional performance, where there's not so much of that, uh, uh, you know, interaction with the crowd necessarily. So maybe that's why I like the other one better. I, I don't know. But Angelina smiles and all that in the other one here. There's a lot of them. A lot of places where she smiles. And she does these little cute little things, you know, sometimes with her with her eyes and looking around and all the other kind of stuff. You know, to me, that's all part of the performance, right? You move this performance uh, five or six or seven years into the future, does she do that stuff? Probably not. Could she? Probably not, you know, because, you know, she's grown and she's matured and she's moved up, you know. She's in, she's on a different uh, level now in a lot of ways. So these are unique standalone performances that will never be replicated or duplicated. We're just so lucky to have them to watch. So the winner is going to be this one all uh, over here to the, uh, let's see, that <laughs> over there. Okay, that's like backwards. That's why it's so confusing. Uh, the one at Al Sang Pa Grenson. Okay, that's my selection. I hope you guys are uh, good with that. And if you're not, you can make some comments and tell me how you feel about that. But uh, yeah, that could I pick the other one? Absolutely. Should I have? Yeah, that's up to open to some debate, I suppose. But. In my opinion, these are both great performances. They're both a little different, so they're also they're great and they're unique. So they stand alone as great performances. Um, but I can't put all of them in all the time. All right, guys. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.